my homosexuals. What is going on? I missed you. <laughs> oh man, I have needed this. I hope you were doing as good as I'm doing. So I'm doing pretty, pretty great. I will have to say that for sure. As you know, I had to take some days off. My knee just was not working with me the way I wanted it to. And it's just one of those things where these, you know, with my knee, uh, with my quad tendon being strained or minorly pulled, whatever it is, I don't know, but it's give and take, you know, it's some days it's going to feel really good. Some days it's going to feel really bad. And I just got to keep kind of going back and forth, working with it until it eventually gets back to where it was. And I don't have to worry about the confidence about it. You know, the mental confidence is the hardest part to wrap around getting over an injury You know, that, that phantom pain of not knowing if you just feel bad or because it's injured or if it's just, you know, your brain trying to trick you that you still feel like garbage because of what you, because of its, you know, it's now weaker reasonably because I had to take some time off of it. I haven't been able to put weight on it comfortably yet, you know? So we're getting there. It's, a, it's, 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 it's great, you know? I gotta be very grateful for the experience because it's so weird, you know? You try so many different things back and forth where you never know what's gonna work. You know, it's so trial and error. It's just giving it your all every single day, hoping that that next morning you wake up, you're just back to normal. You know, you don't feel weird anymore. You feel like your good old natural self. And I have gone through taking days to just do straight isometrics. I've gone through days of just taking a week off and then trying to come back and deload. I've taken time off and come back and done some heavier weights. And I guess right now, the thing that has helped the most, uh, and you know, in this next week, we'll see how it keeps progressing. Um, but the best my knee has been throughout this injury was when I took time off like I just did to really let it like reset and relax not doing too heavy stretches just like kind of you know squatting on it just making sure it can bend the way it needs to bend you know I've, I've I haven't been doing like you know pistol squats because pistol squats kind of strained it a little too much believe it or not even though I could do them it would just put a lot of extra strain on the already strained tendon uh, so I've just been like doing single leg stand-ups out of a chair when I'm at home that kind of stuff just to see what works what might work you know it's just putting every step forward to just hope for something to click other than my kneecap because <laughs> oh I can promise you now I'm gonna have some some Clarence knees after this they're gonna be clicking when I squat I guarantee it that's just how some of these injuries go my wrist still clicks from an injury I had over a year ago but we're getting there things are starting to connect you know we're putting our experiences together we are continuing to try new things and just figure out my own body you know you'd think that after so many years of doing this back and forth and having other injuries and feeling it out as I go and being tempered with the weight and knowing how to read my own body physically at the very least you'd think that you'd have it all wrapped up but you, there are always things you gotta you gotta learn it's it's so surreal how much more knowledge I have to intake you know it's either it is a vast majority of the things that I can learn that I have not yet run into yet and this knee recovery is just one of those things I don't know uh, if it's gonna progress the way I want it to after today but that's kind of the point it's just all I can do is try you know not in a bad way it's actually a great thing it's an opportunity to explore what I'm capable of even after trial and error going back and forth battling and competing with myself for years even without the weights there are still ways where I can like really see what my body not even is just capable of but what is possible like what it's able to feel physically like I, I never I never thought that my knee would ever get injured. You know, I've always felt very strongly in my lower body. Uh, so it was a big surprise going through this kind of thing. So it's just, we're figuring it out. But the fact that I'm able to just at least attempt something new is what's so important. I tell you guys all the time that what, regardless of it says, if it's in the gym or a new job or just something, a new hobby, anything you want to try, 
you've got to put yourself in an environment where you'll be able to experience and try something out that you've never done before that you think even if it's just the slightest possibility of you actually enjoying it why not give it the fucking chance you know why not give it that one extra step of effort that's so simple it's just a phone call to a company it's just the action of moving something in a certain way once just to see to understand what your body and mind is going to tell you once you've actually given it a shot you know people will say that they hate things like food their whole life and never bite into it you know like it's just it's it's ignorant bliss it's just fighting the reality of what can be possible and the more things that you experience and the more things that you allow yourself to have the opportunity for you're going to be the best and most experienced version of yourself that you can be you know it's it's it seems so simple but again for most people it's really hard to take that first step it is honestly the first step that's typically the hardest i again i'm not fucking perfect trust me i've been talking about this child therapy stuff for forever i'm really interested in it i really want to get into it and i'm only just now making the strides to do so and I think that my knee getting messed up and me not being able to work out much in the past two months is partly why I have been so much more motivated to jump at things that I have been telling myself I want to do that I almost surely know will make me happy, but I'm just sitting there staring at a fucking wall for three and a half hours straight scrolling through my phone thinking that I don't have what it takes because that's what happens. You stare at a wall long enough not doing anything and you're going to get in your own head and every possible negative what if is going to take over. And I tell you guys all the goddamn time and I will rephrase, restate, and fucking emphasize the shit out of this. But no matter what, for as many positives as you can, or as many negatives, sorry, as you can dish out, I can dish out twice, three times, ten times as many positives. Because it's just in your fucking head. You know, that's just, that's, it's kind of why I, I, why I say positivity is a choice. You got to put yourself in the environment and the scenario, especially mentally, to experience the progression and productivity that you've been wanting life to give you. But unfortunately, we work with life. <laughs> life doesn't work with us. So the only way that you're going to get in a situation where it feels like life is really working with you is if you put yourself in every single pair of shoes that you can to experience a different perspective. Because no matter how shitty like this knee recovery has been, it is a great golden experience to understand myself even more. You know, like I said, I'm finally going after this job now after months, like six months of talking about it. And I'm finally like, you know, I got to fucking do this shit. I've been talking about it for so long, just beating around the bush. And it is all because I was in my own head. I've said so many times, oh, there's too much stuff in my personal life happening with family. There's too much stuff with my knee. There's, uh, uh. there's never too much stuff happening for you to do something new. I can fucking promise you that. It is about the mindset that you have behind it that will get you to take that first step. God damn it. I can fucking promise you that. But before I get to the fucking brass tacks of this shit, I, I, I'm telling you guys, you got to stop me before I get ahead of myself. I've said it so many goddamn times, but I can't stop. <laughs> but anyway, physically, I'm not going to lie, it felt weird. <laughs> Simple as that. It's really light. Snatches felt pretty great. It, they started off really wonky. I'm sure you could tell. Uh, but the last one or two or three sets felt really good. You know, it's, it was much more fluent and I could, you know, again, I've, I took days off. It makes sense. I'm going to feel a little weird and Olympic lifts haven't really been messing with my knee at all. Cause the light or the weight is so much lighter than it would be if it were a squat. Now getting into the overhead squat. Yeah, that felt weirder, <laughs> but the good thing, the best takeaway with the overhead squats and the snatch pulls today is the fact that I was not in pain. My left knee simply felt weaker and not only that is after i do every set i i I'd not, not even stress test i would just squat on my knee feel it out see how it feels and every set it felt a little bit better felt a little bit mentally more 
together with it, you know? Oh, Make, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling to get back into something that you love so goddamn much that your body has been trying to get you to stop doing over and over and over, but we are fucking pursuing this shit. I am persistent as shit, and we are going to get through it. God damn it. I am going to lift some heavy ass weight sooner than later. I can promise you that. Because that's, that's the consistency, discipline, and passion that I put toward the fucking sport. That's why I love my life so much, you know? I view life with this positive mindset that I quite literally force myself to be in no matter what so that I can actually logically perceive what good can come out of the situation that I'm in rather than forcing myself to think that everything's going to be shit just because I rolled a bad dice, you know? You go through shit. My knee fucked up. It is what it is. I'm still lifting. I'm still happy. I still got plenty of things to love in life. So let's keep running it. You know what I mean? Anyway, mentally. So you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty excited. You know, I, I am a patient man. I'm passionate and I am patient. But dude, this is, I, I am ready to lift. I, I can't explain to you how ready I have been in my life. Like I have been PR ready for months and it's just my left fucking knee that has been holding me back. And now that it's finally starting to get that little bit of inch forward, you know, my left knee itself is even trying new things out, taking those new step, those new first step forward to get better. I'm feeling so much better, you know? And not only that, getting in the gym is one of the highlights of my day, not just because of the weights and the progress that I make personally, but it's where I see the homies, you know? That's where I have my social battery drained and I get to feel at my peak passion of the day. You know, it's, it's, it's an irreplaceable feeling that I will never ever forget for the rest of my life. It's why I want to keep doing this until I die. You know, it's as simple as that. So, oh my God, I didn't even tell you the numbers. Oh my God, I told you to stop me. Ugh. Physically, Hard pause. Seven point nine. Just cause it still feels a little weird mentally. <laughs> but, me but mentally rated, we're feeling at a solid eight point five. I'm back in it. We're doing the videos again. I'm I fucking missed you guys because getting this shit out is what makes me feel so much better about the efforts that I put in in the day. You know, whether it's just a matter of making a single phone call or lifting some heavy fucking weights, I don't care. I'm making steps and strides to progress myself. And not only myself, but I want the things that I do in my personal life to positively influence those around me. I want people to look at me and be like, who is this stupid motherfucker in the chicken socks throwing these heavy ass weights over his head? That's pretty goddamn cool though. This guy seems passionate as hell. I, I, I've been feeling like shit, you know? And so I meet these people, and we get to we get to shooting the shit, getting to know each other. And I'm like, well, dude, we're no different from one another. It's just about the fact that you haven't gotten to experience this yet. So let's put in the days. Let's put in the hours, the weeks, the months, the years. Let's try it out. Try out anything new. And we're going to get fucking passionate and consistent in this bitch. I promise. <laughs> you know? So I, all I can do is try my best. I always say it, it seems so simple, but that's all it is. I'm gonna keep putting my best foot, uh, my best front foot forward and just trying, you know? It, I might be injured tomorrow, I might be injured next week, in a month, in a year, I don't know. I can't plan it, that's just the ambiguity of life. But, I'm gonna make progress and I'm going to stay consistent, disciplined, and passionate no matter goddamn what, because that's what I care about. So let me know how your lives and lives have been going. I love hearing about it. I appreciate you guys sticking around either way. And I'll be back tomorrow. You know, I'm just running the program like normal, but we're doing some lighter weight. So it's going to be clean and jerk and back squat tomorrow. And we'll see how the back squat feels because the squat is the one that hits my knee the most. I'm hopeful. I'm grateful. And I am loving life. So join me for the journey. Almost recovered, hopefully. And we'll see if we can throw some heavier shit in the upcoming weeks. I love you guys. See you tomorrow.